This is Tau Tau 50 carb. We're going to rebuild it. Uh, when these come from China, these were actually screw heads. They run them in with the machine. The head pops off. Um, so we're going to happen to buy some new screws. Actually, I might be able to unscrew it from there. The screws are so big. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is that head's good and flat like that. I've got a, a punch here. And we want to get it right in the middle because we're going to drill these out. Give it a good little tap. I've got my choke on there. Now it's flat. Put it right there in the middle. I can smell the varnish coming out of this thing. That's how you break the carburetor. Luckily, I caught it with my foot on the way down. Uh, I didn't actually get that very good. That one's good. That one's real good. And I just messed that one up real good. <clears throat> See if I can get it. The head on that screw didn't pop off very good. All right, I've got a couple of real small drill bits. I use this one to start it. This one actually is just a little bit bigger than screw, and it pops that head off really well. Uh, let me get my drill hooked that up. All right, find a little hole we popped in there. close. see that or not uh, that one looks pretty good we'll go on to the next one do that for all of them we'll go back with that bigger one and I'll show you how to pop them out it's pretty easy all right uh, kind of see them got all those pretty good go back with a little bit bigger drill bit and uh, you can watch this it'll hit there and that should spin on begin to spin on through one okay, got loose all right time out go back and hit all them and get them out all right I think I've got them all popped got a lot of metal dust down there I'll come back with some paper towels uh, yep it's kind of coming out Close, close. Be careful there's a float in there and there's a rubber seal right there that's going to stay in part and go with the other part. Boy, I can, it smells like somebody varnished some furniture in here. It's just horrible.
All right, got the part. Not a whole lot in there. Uh, but I'm 99% sure those jets are clogged, and it's usually this one right here that gets really bad. Um, this thing has been sitting a while, so we'll make sure that when we look through there, uh, your needle. You really can't see it from there, but make sure it don't have any discoloration. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, get you a pair of pliers and all these. Some, sometimes since they're not connected, they'll just come right out real easy if you have something to grab onto, like this one. Uh, otherwise, you may have to go from the back side. You always want to take them out the way that they went in because they've got a head on them, so don't try and screw them on through. It's not going to work. No problem. Anyway. So. That's one of them there. If you can get to them, start unscrewing them that way. If not, a lot of times you can get to the bottom of them here and start unscrewing them here. And then... You can get to them back from the top up here. Uh, like you ask it sat right here and you can see all that crud. Uh, make sure you clean that all off too. So uh, we'll do that. We'll get the jets out and do some more cleaning. Got the uh, air fuel screw head out. And you definitely can't see through it. This one actually looks good. Uh, this one, like I said before, is just clogged. You can't see none of it. I use a guitar string here. Uh, if you've watched my videos before, you've seen them. This looks really good. Check that float too to make sure it's working. You don't have to screw those in tremendously tight. Oh, see if I can put that on the end of the drill. This is the smallest guitar string, and I always put just put just a little kink in it like that. Out of clean that hole, run that through there, wrap it around there. Looks just right. lot better. Yeah. Also, there's holes in the side here. If that one's clogged, more than likely these are too. Even though you can see through them, a lot of times you can put a wire through them and you'll see a little crust come out of the edges and the hole just gets a smidge bigger. I recommend while you have it out doing it all. Got that jet in the video bit. And so uh, I'm going right past that hole. Uh, put a little kink in there somewhere, you know, like I said. I imagine it's cleaned out now.
good. I'm going to do it a few more times by hand just to make sure. Put it back together. i got to find me some screws. Uh, show you how to check that float. All right, when you're checking your float, uh, I always have my carburetor open. I just put an extra piece of line on there that I use about for every one of them. And uh, you can blow through it. Uh, about as much pressure as you can put in your mouth. Probably about 10 pounds of pressure or something, I don't know. But uh, your carb's only going to take about three or four. Um, so if you can't blow through it here, that should be good. Uh, you can hear, and then I'll flip it upside down, and you'll hear that air come through. For all uh, ordinary purposes, that should seal off once it gets gas to it, so we should be good. I cleaned off the edges here with a, a meat, uh, my little Dremel and brush, uh, cleaned both jets. Uh, my float seems to be good, so I'm not even going to mess with it, take it apart. Uh, so I'm about to put this puppy back together, and we'll get some fresh gas in her today and uh, hopefully send it down the road. I do need to find a couple of uh, springs. Um, This is actually a little fuel pump here, and it'll fill, shoot fuel through there. Of course, there ain't any in here. That's why it's working. Anyway, we'll put it back together, and that's the carb job. All right. Got some new screws in it. Got it all back together. Uh, it's ready to go on the bike. Uh, I would test it one more time with your air while you got it all back together. Yep. Fully functional. That's carb done. I also did want to say, guys, uh, normally if the bowl and all that was dirty, I would have cleaned that out. I usually use this, and uh, I've got some little wire wheels in here. Uh, I use that one. I've got another one that's my favorite. I don't know where it's at. It's got a, it looks like that. But it's like that. Uh, anyway, uh, that didn't look real bad, so I didn't have to clean it out. 